As of today, we do not have a release date or even price for the Valve official Steam Deck dock. We know most of the specs for their dock though as they actually recently changed them for the better not too long ago. But for those wanting to dock up their Steam Deck and use it on a monitor and have access to USB ports for a controller, a mouse, keyboard, or whatever, there have been plenty of USB hubs on the market that work just fine, allowing you to use your Steam Deck as a desktop. But now it seems some companies are jumping on the delay of the official dock and coming up with their own versions. I normally was using a Belkin USB hub to use my Steam Deck on a monitor, and it cost me around 50 bucks on sale, but today we're going to be looking at a new dock that's specifically designed for the Steam Deck that costs only $35. Now it may actually be cheaper than that, but I don't know when you're watching this video, but as of the recording of the video, the dock is actually slightly cheaper on Amazon right now, as it did just release and they have a little sale going. So today we're going to be taking a look at the iVolar docking station. The company sent one out to me for purpose of review, and that's what I intend on doing today. Now, not knowing the price of the official dock, I'm going to have to assume it's going to be more expensive than this option, but... If you decide to not wait for the official one and grab this one instead, there are a couple small sacrifices you need to be aware of. So as far as weight and size from what we know of the official dock, this iVolar dock seems to be fairly similar in size and weight, but it does cut a couple things. One, we do not get the gigabit ethernet port, as the iVolar people said that a lot of you know individuals tend to prefer Wi-Fi over being hardwired. I suppose, I guess, but I do like to have the option, depending on the situation, like transferring files would be a lot quicker and easier. But yeah, no Ethernet here. And we also lose the display port the official dock is listed to come with. Here, we have an HDMI 2.0 port only that is listed to support 4K 30 Hertz. Now, I could see having the dual ports of HDMI and display port as being beneficial, but also at the same time for the price, I cannot complain with having just the one HDMI. Now to note, the Steam Deck is listed to be compatible with external displays with DisplayPort Alt Mode support up to 8K at 60Hz or 4K at 120Hz. Not sure how feasible that can be expected though, but that's the specs they have listed on the official Steam Deck site. So that's pretty much where the differences end from what I can tell anyway. They both have three USB 3.0 ports, which the official dock initially only had one plus two 2.0 ports, but they upgraded it, so that's nice. Still doesn't exist yet, but when it does come out, it'll have three of them. And then they both have USB-C for power delivery. You'll have to use the supplied power cable that came with your Steam Deck to power up the dock and a little pass through and all that good stuff. So the iVolar dock states it has a max power delivery of 65 watts, but the Steam Deck has a max of 45 watts, so not really taking advantage of that here. But the dock can be used with other devices in case you are wondering. Some may be a little wonkier than others. It's designed for the Steam Deck. But perhaps you can get a tablet in there and use it. A Nintendo Switch supposedly works with it. And you know, pretty much anything else that could utilize this type of dock or USB hub can be connected to it, but like cradling it, obviously it's just gonna depend on the device if it fits in there. Now, testing this thing out, there are a few things to note that could possibly change in the future, as some of the problems you may run into seem more to do with the Steam Deck and not the actual dock itself. Now, I've seen that Valve has fixes for some known issues when using the Steam Deck docked in works, so definitely something to look forward to, but any of the issues I'm about to mention aren't really to do with this dock. It's more I want you to be aware of the possibilities, as it seems some of this stuff can happen no matter what dock you use, as it's due to the Steam Deck and its operating system and firmware not being able to, you know, say utilize certain resolutions properly, stuff like that. But we'll get more into that right now. So previously using that Belkin USB hub, I never really had any issues with it, but I only ever used it on a 1080p monitor. With this dock, I went straight to testing it on a 4K monitor, as I had been reading people having issues with the Steam Deck being docked to a 4K TV or monitor. So the monitor I was using, it'll force 4K no matter what, 
And I've seen some people have issues where this negatively impacts performance of the Steam Deck. Now, I didn't really notice much in the way of slowdown or performance issues in the menus or store, but some have said it does get really slow on a 4K monitor. So one thing that was added a while back to the Steam Deck is the ability to choose resolution options before booting a game. The default is supposed to be 1280 by 720 p on a 16.9 monitor, and I didn't notice any games defaulting to anything higher than that. But if you want to change the resolution of the game you are playing, you may run into issues depending on the graphics settings you have set in the game. The Steam Deck is a powerful compact handheld PC, but it's not a high-end gaming desktop, so you have to have your expectations in check on resolutions and performance. This has nothing to do with the dock. No dock is going to boost the performance of this device. You're going to have to kind of pay attention to how things are working here. Now, my problem that I noticed comes in the play on games where you cannot set resolution before launching them in SteamOS, like non-Steam games that you've added to your Steam library. Even emulating NES on a 4K monitor for me was laggy as hell on the Steam Deck. Now for games like that, if you're playing on a 4K monitor that forces 4K, you can launch into desktop mode, change the display resolution there to whatever you want instead of 4K, lower it down 1080p, 720, whatever, right? And you can launch your games from Steam on the desktop with that resolution. But unfortunately, doing this, it doesn't change the resolution when going back into game mode using Steam OS to play your games. It looks like in the latest beta build of the firmware, they are adding more display options, but hopefully it gets a little more customizable sooner than later with the official firmware. So if you're having issues with like emulating retro games or playing games that don't have resolution options that are accessible type of thing while docked on a 4K monitor, you can either go to the desktop, change the resolution, and launch from there, from Steam or big picture mode, whatever. Or if it's an emulator playing some ROMs, you can configure the specific emulator to launch at a lower resolution and hope that it doesn't get forced to 4K and run slow. Like I said, these are issues to do with the operating system and firmware, not so much the dock. And not everybody has been having like the same impact with performance type of thing. Like I said, the games I play and stuff like that, and with some of the more recent firmware updates, I think it's kind of helped with that stuff. So I haven't really had too much of a issue here. You know, I've been mainly using the Steam Deck docked on a 1080p monitor. You know, that's for my own personal use and when I'm recording footage for videos. So it hasn't been too much of a problem, but I'm definitely looking forward to more display options being available when you're in that game mode. Like, I wish you could just go in there and change the resolution for the whole thing, but right now it's not allowing you to. So another annoying issue that I have had, and it also seems to be a Steam Deck issue as I've seen plenty of people mention it, is the screen on the deck keeping the backlight on while docked. So this hasn't happened to me a lot, but it's happened a few times and it bugs the hell out of me because why would I want the possible wear on the screen while I'm not using it? So if that happens to you, no matter what dock you're using or USB hub, one solution to temporarily fixing it is putting the Steam Deck to sleep, waiting a couple seconds and then waking it back up by pressing the power button and then the screen on the handheld will be off. So there you go, some minor annoyances for sure, but it seems like that's gonna be the case if you use any hub or dock right now as it's software related, it appears. Hopefully by the time Valve puts out their official dock, these issues will be ironed out no matter what you decide to use. Shouldn't be a problem, at least I could hope. But yeah, this is a reasonable solution in my opinion with its form factor, how it cradles the Steam Deck, has three USB ports, it works fine. I think it's a decent option. If you're interested, links down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.